Hi everybody, it's Michelle here from Dragonfly Spiritual Medium and I'm very excited today. A parcel has just arrived and I'm going to share it with you. So um, I've taken it out of the box, still all in its wrapping and this is quite an exciting one for me. I've wanted it for quite a while, it's been on my wish list and today it is finally here. Maybe I should have taken it out of all its plastic first but let's just get in there and see what we have. So today we have the Housewives Tarot. I just want to, there we go. And it is so cute. Look at this box that comes in. So let's see what we have inside. Let's just get the plastic off. Almost there. Right. So there we have it. The Housewives Tarot, a domestic divination kit with deck and instruction book. So let's have a look. Within this box lie the secrets of domestic empowerment. Begin your journey by lifting the lid, dealing out your fate and understanding the hidden message of the Housewives Tarot. Through images of dinnerware, which is the pentacles, martini glasses as caps, Mops and bronze as ones, and much more, these tarot cards can answer all of life's most challenging questions. The enclosed instruction book will show you how to interpret all 78 cards and provide useful advice on giving a read. Right, so that is the box. Isn't it cute? It reminds me a bit of a um, recipe box. So let's take it out. Ta -da. Oh, how cute is that? Look, it is like a recipe box. Look at that. That is so cute. This deck belongs to you, and you can fill in your, your name over there. And it's got these little um, compartments for the major arcana, the minor arcana, and the instruction box. So I just want to see if I can get that close enough for you to see. Can you see that? That's better. That is so cute, isn't that? I don't know how practical it is, though, to keep in this box because when you're shuffling and dealing and doing readings and doing readings for yourself or your friends, you're not going to be separating the major arcana from the minor arcana like it is at the moment in this box. Um, so I'm not sure if I will actually keep, as much as I love this little box, I'm not sure if I will keep it in here. So let's have a look and see. But let's first see... The little instruction booklet, the Housewives Tarot. So in the beginning we have here um, the legend of the mystical housewives and then it gives you how to conduct a reading and then it goes into the cards. Um, they've given, I just want to see, I think they've given some spreads as well for you. Yes, so there is the Neapolitan spread. The Closed Line of Life. So they're giving you a few sprays that you can use, which are quite cool. This one's called the Martini. I'm going to look forward to using that one. And then it goes into the Major Arcana. With a, and it is illustrated with a little picture. And then the meanings below. A few key words. So that's quite cute. Goes through all of... So each card has got a page. Which is quite nice. So you've got quite a lot of, quite a lot of information in that. That's a really sweet little book. So let's have a look. As you know, I just want to get this out. Um, when it comes to doing deck reviews, I tend to not show you all the cards. I do the major arcana and then a few of the cards out of the deck. If you do want to see all the cards and you want me to show you in future to do a full flip through, I can then post a separate video for that. Because I know that for myself, I don't always watch somebody's video in total. I'm sorry, I do admit to doing that. I just look to see which cards resonate with me first and then I take it from there. So this is the major arcana, which we're going to do first. I just want to show you the backs of the cards. There we go. Looks like a picnic tablecloth. Quite cute. Size of the deck is, I would say, it's traditional sort of um, size. Um, quality, they are matte. There's no shine on them at all. You can see this completely, completely matte. Um, but we'll see how they shuffle a little bit later. So let's start. We have the Fool, 
Look at her, she's on her way to go do some shopping. She's holding onto her handbag with the many things are flying out behind her. But she's off. She's on her way. The magician. <laughs> Look at him there with his washing machine. These are so cute. The empress. She's got her recipe for success and all her ingredients right down here at the bottom. She's going to make a cake. The emperor. Made up of all the cans and condiments. <laughs> These are so sweet. The high priestess is the secret syrup. So let's see what it says on the card. The mysteries of the universe are sweeter than you know. I like that. The high priestess. The hierophant is your old fashioned radio. The lovers. They remind me a little bit of Danny and Sandy from Grease Lightning. The Chariot. Real mom car there in the background. Strength. Let me see what that is. Scrubbo soap pads. Shines aluminium fast. That's the strength card. The Hermit. Oh, look at her. She's relaxing in her bubble bath. She's got all the different types of soaps with her. So she's retreated a little bit, resting up. The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Justice, I like that. Giving her kid a bit of a paddywhack there with a wooden spoon. I'm sure a lot of us can remember those days. The Hanged Man, hanging up the washing, and the hubby. Death. It's all food that has gone off, and this is a bottle of real salmonella. Everything expires. <laughs> Probably one of the nicest death cards I've seen. Temperance. The devil. Ah, the chocolate cake is the devil. What else do we have then? We have chocolate cake, we have coffee, we have cheese, we have spork, we have cigarettes, we have Valium. That is the... The Devil card, the Tower, the Tower of Jello. That's quite cute. The Star with her pie that she's baked. The Moon, so cute. Sun with his fried egg eyes. Judgment standing on the scale. And then finally the world, which is your recipe box again. So that is the major arcana. That is really, really cute. So let's have a look at a few of the minor arcana. So as we said earlier, the cups is going to be glasses. And what is quite nice is that they've separated the colors. So all your pentacles have got a green border. Let me just show you. So your pentacles got a green border. Your swords, it's got a red border. Your wands, the yellow border. And the cups is your blue border. So we've got the ace of cups, the, two, the three of cups, which is normally your cup of celebration. It normally shows three ladies with cups in their hands. This little baby having some fun there. Quite cute. Um, let's find another one that is five of cups. She looks a little bit out there. Seven of cups. Can't make up her mind what kind of beverage she would like. Can't make up her mind. Eight of cups. Now ten of cups. Happy family, dancing, celebrating life. Everything's good. Page of cups. Watering his ideas and plants. The Knight of Cups, looking very suave there in his suit, pouring a glass of bubbly. The Queen of Cups, she's got everything under control. She, her house is clean, she's got the crown on her head, she's got everything under control. And the Knight of Cups, King of Cups, sorry. So the Cups, let's have a look at the swords. The Ace of Swords is cut, cutting up some cakes and pies. Let's have a 
have a look. The Three of Swords, which is normally your heartbreak. It's the heart shaped cake with three knives in it. These are all so cute. They really are. Ten of Swords. Page of Swords with his scissors in his hand. Running with the scissors in his hand. He's very brave. The Knight of Swords on his motorbike. Queen of Swords in her garden. King of Swords with his barbecue, or Bri as we like to call it in South Africa. Then we have the Wands, Feather Duster. Two of Wands working hard. Four of Wands laid back, relaxed drinking her glass, but she is still grounded, look how she's still tethered, rising above her problems there. Five of ones, just so much to do. Let's quickly get to, don't want to keep you all here forever, I'm just loving the imagery on these cards. The page of ones, the knight of ones, cute one, I love these. Queen. And then our king. He thinks he's got everything under control. Look at that contraption he's built to, to clean the house. He's He's got everything sorted there. So then we just got the pentacles, which is our coins normally. Two of pentacles, the juggling act, making sure you've got everything sorted. Looking after the kids, the house, the family. Six of pentacles. Oh, look at that money tree. Isn't that beautiful? She's got everything. Her garden is beautiful. Her house is neat and tidy. She's got money growing on the trees. She's She is sorted. So let's have a look. The page of pentacles. The knight of pentacles. The queen of pentacles. And then the King of Pentacles. It's really, really a cute little deck. So let's just see how they shuffle. I'm just going to do a few of them like this. They shuffle really well. It's a nice size, easy to hold in your hand. You can see that. They're not too big. I love that they're not glossy. There's no shine. Really a lovely deck. I'm so excited over this deck. I can't wait to use it. So look out maybe tomorrow. I will use it for my daily message. I think this has got a lot, a lot to offer us. And I think the messages on this is going to be a little bit deeper than what we think. We might look at the pictures and see, you know, cartoon type um, imagery. But I really think that this deck is going to give us quite an in-depth look at, at life. So if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the button below. Please feel free to comment. I do have a few more decks coming this week, so I'm really excited. I've got three more decks coming. This was number one, so three more to go. And I'll do a quick video on all of them. As I said, if you do want to see a full flip through of all the cards, please let me know by commenting below. And I will then do a separate video of a full flip through of each of the cards. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you have a lovely day and we'll chat soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.